Hello, police in Hong Kong have once again fired tear gas on protesters who are defying a ban on face masks during demonstrations. Now, the trade war between the United States and China is proving to be a bonus for clothes factories in Bangladesh. Some Chinese manufacturers switching production there. But Bangladeshi workers say they still suffer from low wages and poor safety standards. Now, North Korea's chief nuclear negotiator is blaming the United States for the breakdown in their latest talks on denuclearization. They're aimed at lifting U.S. sanctions in exchange for the North limiting its nuclear bomb and missile technology. They provide hope for the treatment and cure of countless conditions from cancer to the common cold. Pharmaceutical companies are also some of the most profitable in the world and constantly looking at new ways to stay competitive. Turkey's currency, the lira, strengthened this week after a major sell-off, which saw it hit an all-time low versus the dollar. You're considered one of the most powerful women in the world. What advice would you give to young women in the Middle East trying to, to make their way in the workforce, particularly in sectors of the economy that are still very much dominated by men. And what about the, the, the physical stress that you go through on a, on a flight like this? I mean, you're going up at, at incredible speeds, of course, leaving and then re-entering the Earth's uh, atmosphere. How physically manageable is this for the average untrained passenger? There's a memorandum of understanding of well, memorandums billion of understanding so are one thing, that. and contracts are completely different. Isn't the but president not, completely overstating that's, that's this when issue. he's talking about hundreds of billions that is of dollars? That's not the issue. Then why did you bring it up? Several people have been shot outside the Empire State Building in New York. Police say at least two people were killed, and the gunman is also reported to be dead. Information is sketchy at the moment, but you're looking at a uh, live shot uh, of the scene right now in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, on the, uh, the street corner where it happened, just outside uh, the Empire State Building. New York City police saying at least four people at this point have been uh, shot outside uh, that building. The shooting happened uh, at what would have been what is Friday morning right now uh, in New York, mid-morning on the corner of uh, 34th Street and 5th Avenue. Live coverage of U.S. President Barack Obama's annual State of the Union address to a joint session of Congress in Washington. And uh, it was a chance for... Uh, the president to uh, use this annual policy address to uh, attack America's economic inequality and draw the battle lines once again with Republicans ahead of what is uh, expected to be a very tough uh, re-election fight. Well, for more on the story now, we're going to go live to Irkutsk and we're joined by a local reporter, Leonid Alkov. Leonid, thanks for being with us. We're hearing conflicting reports about the number of bodies found and people injured in the crash. What information do you have there on the ground? You can see the uh, Russian uh, Soyuz uh, TMA-9 spacecraft on the launch pad there. We're expecting a liftoff very shortly. This is the 14th ISS mission. On board is the world's first female space tourist, businesswoman Anusha Ansari. Well, still to come on the program, we'll have the latest business and sport. That's all later in the hour. Stay with us.